My name is John Echevarria. I'm the acting director of the Environmental Law Center here at Vermont Law School. Uh, the Vermont Law School has just completed uh, its second annual top 10 list, the top 10 issues in environmental law and policy uh, that people in the country should be paying attention to. We hope that uh, specialists and non-specialists alike will uh, benefit from the top 10 list and be able to use it as a resource for public education, for research, and for activism in their own communities. I encourage you to look at the list in detail, but let me just highlight two items on the list that I think have particular significance. Uh, the Fukushima disaster uh, in Japan, and horrible uh, public health effects, uh, effects on the environment of Japan, and also significant in terms of nuclear power, not only for Japan, but for the rest of the world. Fukushima has major significance in terms of our mix of energy sources and our ability to deal with uh, climate change uh, with sources of power that don't involve carbon emissions. Another particularly noteworthy item on the list is the AEP case from the U.S. Supreme Court, in which the Supreme Court rejected an effort by a group of plaintiffs to bring a nuisance action uh, to address carbon emissions. Uh, effectively, the Supreme Court decision cuts off the common law as a, as a vehicle, as a legal tool for advocates to use to address the climate change problem and leaves this issue squarely in the lap of Congress, which hasn't yet acted on this issue.